That's the guy we met at Cave Mock. Hello? <clears throat> and here Estelle's being so nice. Somebody needs to work on their manners. You're one to talk, Yuri. Hey, that monster's gonna attack us again if we keep wandering around here. Yes, you're right. You were the target of his attack? What? Uh, oh, yes. Um, do you know what he meant by insipid po- What, is that your pet or something? We follow the same course of action. What, you're doing the same thing as a monster? Then does that mean you've come here to attack me too? My blade does not exist to pass sentence on humans. How odd. He has taken his leave. But why? Uh. Perhaps I am mistaken. No. That guy still doesn't make any sense. What do you think he's up to? Who knows? Hey, we don't have time to just hang out here and enjoy the scenery. Oh yeah, we gotta go! With the circumstances being what they are, this is just how things turned out. I don't mind a few extra travel companions, but we do need to put in a little more effort. Just how far are we going? I guess Heliord's our closest destination, so at least until there. What? Should we rest a little once we get out of the city? Agreed. Okay, okay. Now let's get moving. Hey, you mind if I ask a question? I need to be sure of something. What is it? That big monster we saw? It was talking, right? Like our language. Yes, I heard it with my own ears. You all heard it too? I guess it wasn't my imagination after all. Who's ever heard of a monster that speaks a human language? Just what is that monster? Thank you. 
the bridge collapsed from the monster's attack, I wonder if Dongrest is all right. It seems that some people were injured, too. The place was crawling with knights. I think they can handle things from here. Plus, the Dawns and Dongrest and all the guild members are really tough. Flynn would catch us if we went back now, and that'd be the end of your travels. You're right. I'll put my trust in the Imperial Knights and the guilds. I decided I'm going with you, and that's what I'm gonna do. That's what happens when I get serious. What happened to taking a break? It's probably a good time. Looks like no one is following us anymore. How can you tell? Hmm. Intuition, I suppose. Intuition? Anyway, we should be fine here. Let's rest for now. When we have time to take a longer rest, We've got to decide a few things about our guild. What is it with you and taking breaks? What do you hope to accomplish by starting a guild? Accomplish? Hmm. I want our guild to become really big! And then someday we'll follow in the Dawn's footsteps and protect Dawngrest ourselves! That way, I can show him my gratitude for all the years he's defended the city! That's a wonderful dream, Carol. I'll just stick with the boss here. Huh? B boss Me? You were the first one to bring up this crazy idea. <laughs> I guess you're right. So, what's the first order of business? To calm down. Yeah! <laughs> you make guilds sound like fun. Why don't you join the guild as well, Judith? Hmm, I wonder. Do you think they'd let me? The most important thing is obeying the guild's laws. Those who break the laws will be severely punished, even friends or family. The laws are the source of a guild's pride. No one can be admitted without making a solemn pledge to uphold them. And what are the laws of your guild, Carol? Um... Everybody supporting each other and always acting with the interests of the guild in mind. Striving to always do the right thing while punishing those who don't. What do you mean? All for the guild and the guild for all. Do justice and punish the unjust. Everyone's opinion will be valued, so long as it doesn't go against these laws. Yuri, that's just what I... Right, boss? All for the guild and the guild for all. Yeah, that's it. Those are our laws. It looks like these will be my laws from now on as well. Sure it's okay to make up your mind like that? Yes, you've got me curious. All for the guild. I like the way that sounds. Well then? I pledge to uphold the laws, for the guild's sake, and my own. How about your partner? Thanks for your concern, but it's all right. He won't mind. Your partner? A friend I was traveling with earlier. Huh, I didn't know you had someone like that. Okay. So from today on, we'll be your new partners, Judith. I look forward to it. Me too. Yeah. Then I... Okay, let's call it a day for now. Yeah, I almost forgot how sore I am. Oh, Yuri. Hey, you're not asleep? No. Is something the matter? No. 
I was just trying to think of what our next move should be. Yes. I didn't even think I'd be able to continue traveling with you. I'm still trying to decide if I should. You're really going to put your all into this guild, aren't you? I'd like to say I'm just going to go with the flow, but I went and bragged to Flynn about it. I guess I can't slack off now. Carol certainly seems happy. Oh, does Her Majesty the Princess wish to join our humble guild? If I asked you to let me in, would you let me in? If you've thought about this and it's your decision, I won't try to stop you. Yeah, you're right. I should really give this some thought. Well, don't think too hard about it. <laughs> How can I decide? What, you're not asleep? Nah, I've been trying to think of a name for our guild. I'm gonna think of something really cool. Sure, I can't wait. Yuri? Hmm? I was thinking about this. We made our guild without first swearing allegiance to its laws, didn't we? Yeah, but did that earlier today, right? So no worries. Yeah. Yuri? What is it? Did you just make those laws up, or did you hear them somewhere? They just came to me. Why, were they no good? Oh no, not at all. It's just... Those were the exact same laws I'd been thinking of. I'm really happy that I was able to make a guild with you, Yuri. <laughs> what a thing to say. Don't get all mushy on me. <laughs> I... Oh! What now? I thought of a name! The Super Ultra Courageous Braves! <laughs> that sounds like a name Captain Carol would come up with, definitely. Let's go with that, then. Right! Thanks. For what? You're staying up to keep watch, aren't you? Nah, no, not at all. You're so evasive. You're one to talk. Huh. Weird. I always thought I was pretty straightforward. Seriously? You haven't even given your real reason for joining our guild. I joined because I wanted to. That's it? No. So long as they don't go against the laws of the guild, everyone's wishes are respected, right? Don't worry. I said I'd uphold the laws, and I will. But in my own way. Alright. Well, I'll get you to tell me the real reason eventually. So it was a coincidence that you were in Dongrest? Yes, I was. That's the truth. Isn't it lovely? Sure. Lovely. Thanks. For keeping watch? For talking. Repeat. You're keeping watch too, huh? So, we started a guild. We're a motley crew, but it should be interesting. <laughs> You're our number two. Try not to give the boss too much of a hard time. You should get some rest too. What's that? Are you saying I should just trust you to keep watch for us? Alright, I'll get some rest then. Thanks, Repeat. I hope we can find some work to do now that we've made our guild. Easy, Tiger. So, Estelle, what are you gonna do? I want to go looking for that talking monster. If it was me he was after, I want to find out why. Don't feel like you'll be able to rest easy till you find out, huh? But how will you do that? How can you look for a monster if you have no idea where it is? I thought you were in charge of all the monster-related information. Don't ask me! Even I've never seen anything like that before. That was no monster. His name is Pharaoh. 
Do you know about him? I saw him earlier when I was traveling with my friend, and it was my friend who knew his name. Why would your friend know the name of something like that? Where did you see it? It was on the Desier continent, in the sands of Kogor. That's the continent to the southwest of Tolbikia. The continent of Desier. The desert. You don't just go marching off to a desert because someone saw a monster. He's right, you know. I wonder if that fairy tale could be... Fairy tale? Something I read at the castle. A tale about a monster that speaks, who lives in the sands of Kogor. There are always stories like that. Like the one about the monster in the sea who talks to people. I think you've got it backwards. Backwards? Such creatures do exist, but they have simply become the stuff of legend. It's like the saying, where there's smoke, there's fire. Yeah, but are you thinking of going all the way to a place like that alone, Estelle? Huh? Well, I... If we don't keep up this little bodyguard operation, she'll really march off on her own. What do you think? Let's take this as our first guild assignment. Hey, you're right! We'd be breaking our own laws if we let her go alone. That's right. But if this is a real job, we'll have to charge Estelle our fee. Oh, we don't need to worry about something like money, right? Nope, no exceptions. Money is a necessity for running a guild. Um, I'm afraid I'm a bit short on funds at the moment. In that case, why don't we just figure something out later? I'll pay the fee, I promise. So let's all go together. Okay, looks like that settles it. This way we can all continue the journey. All right, super ultra courageous braves, fall out! W what is that? Huh? That's our guild's name! We can't go with that. We need something easy to say that has a real snap to it. Oh, really? Well... How about something like... Brave Vesperia. It's the star that gives off the brightest light in the night sky. The brightest star. Cool! Brave Vesperia. Hmm. I like it. Let's stick with that. Okay, that settles it. Let's get to Torum Harbor and charter a boat. We're off on an ocean voyage to the continent of Desier. Didn't you want to take a break at Heliord? Ah, uh, who needs it? Either way, we can't get to Torm without passing through Heliord. I'd also like to see how they've been doing since the Blastia went out of control. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Alright, we'll just stop in for a quick look around the city. Okay. So, first to Heliord, then from Torum to Desier by boat. Okay, I'll try again. Brave Vesperia, fall out! Or Yuri, I was a little surprised to hear that you're starting a guild. Well, it's not like I'll be doing it all on my own. Did Carol give you the idea? Yeah, but I've been thinking about it myself for a while now, too. I quit the nights to find my own way of doing things. But I hadn't done anything. What Flynn said to you back in the port town, that got to you, didn't it? Nothing that guy says could get to me. He doesn't like to admit his feelings, does he? No.
my. Doesn't the city seem less busy than before? Yeah, this place has gotten a lot more ghost towny. Now that you mention it, maybe. Huh? What's wrong? In Dongrest, I heard that the construction work here is so brutal that tons of people have been fleeing. I don't know if that's true or not, though. Huh, interesting. She has to do something about it. What do you mean? You can see it on her face. If that's the case, we should go to the inn and have a strategy meeting first. After all, we need to go check on the Blastia, too. Yeah, and it's not like Estelle can just let things go. You can't just ignore people's problems, can you? I know, I know. So then, let's go! To the inn! He sure is getting into it. He's so happy that he was able to start a guild with Yuri. Hey, it's not like I did this just for Carol's sake. But you care about his feelings, don't you? Yeah, well... Come on, we should hurry to the inn. We picked a name, made laws, got our first job. We're a pretty respectable guild now. But are three members really respectable? Why not? The Dark Wings, the famous Thieves Guild, they only have three members too. Quality over quantity. Too many people get to be a headache. I prefer a small group. But you can't follow in the Dawn's footsteps and defend Dongrist without a few more bodies. Yeah, I guess. But if we just put one foot in front of the other, I know we'll be big someday. So then you're saying we can take it easy? No way! We gotta give this guild 110%! Aye <laughs> aye, Captain. I guess I can't let things go either. Late night stroll? The scenery here reminds me of home. Huh. Your home must be in a pretty place then. I just mean that it's up high like this and has a good view. Not that I have a problem with heights. <laughs> yeah, I guess you wouldn't, riding around on that monster. His name is Baul, and he's not a monster. And it's not only because he can fly. We've been together ever since he saved me during the war. War? You mean between the Empire and the Guilds? This world always seems to be ravaged by some war or another. Yeah, I guess so. It was you who attacked Estelle here earlier, wasn't it? You're pretty sharp if you were able to tell who it was I was after. I'm just that kind of guy. Pharaoh also appeared because of Estelle. Is there some connection between them, between him and your partner? It's hard to explain. But you won't deny it, that you would come for her. 
I'm afraid I'm not very good at lying. All right, I won't ask any more questions. But if it looks like you're going after her again... You needn't worry. I won't be doing that sort of thing anymore. You have my word. You mean it? What can I say that will make you believe me? Well, you said you were no good at telling lies. It's not like we're all that different. I've got a few skeletons in my closet, too. He's a strange one. Shall we have a look around the town? We also need to have a look at the Blastia that went berserk last time. Now that we have a goal and a destination, I'm so excited about continuing our journey! This is a lot bigger than when we were just escaping the capital and chasing after Flynn. We're out to find a mysterious talking monster. And to get over to Desier, we'll need to cross the sea again. I think the sands of Kagor will be a hot and harsh environment, too. Still, I can't help but be excited that I get to continue my journey. New landscapes we've never seen are waiting for us just past the horizon. Well, just don't forget what we're out here for. I know. It seems like the area has returned to normal. Yeah, doesn't look like it's gone berserk since then. Hey, it's those guys we met at Nor Harbor. Miss Estelle! How have you been? Who is this? We helped these people out at Nor Harbor. We can't thank you enough for all you've done for us. Where's your father? I haven't seen Teagle, my husband, for the past three days. Sounds like that rumor might be true. Don't you have any hunches? Yes. The night before he disappeared, he talked again about working to become a noble. Become a noble? What do you mean? When this city is finally completed, we will be able to live here as members of the nobility. Huh? That doesn't sound quite right. What do you mean? The rank of nobility is reserved for those whose service has earned the Emperor's confidence. But Sir Cumor gave his word to us. He said we would be welcomed as nobles. Cumor? From the Imperial Knights? Yes. He is acting as the current magistrate of the city. I'll bet he is. That is strange, though. I mean, the Imperial Throne is empty and all. But then... Then why on earth have we been working this hard? And what about Teagle? Is Father not coming back? Hey, Yuri. You're gonna ask me why we don't take this on as a guild, right? I promise to take care of her fee when I pay my own. Well, okay, that's fine. What? But I... So this means our next job is finding a missing person. Then if Q Moore is up to his usual stunts, we'll just have to slap him around till he stops. Right. The knights do exist for the protection of the people, after all. Let's just make sure we're careful. The knights could squash a little guild like us if we get on their bad side. As you wish. We'll find your father, I promise. Just... Well, that's that. We'll take the job. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Let's go find him. There's something very suspicious about that area over there. Yeah, even more so because it's marked off-limits. I wonder if there's some way we could get in. Careful, guys! Remember? Careful! I'd like to pass if I could.
Sorry, no can do, buddy. The laborer's camp ahead is too dangerous. <laughs> Thank goodness. Knowing you, Yuri, I thought for sure you'd try to force your way through. Well, proceed with caution and all that. Boss's orders, you know. But how should we get by the guards? I really think forcing our way through would be the simplest and most effective way in. No, I won't allow it! All we need to do is draw the guard away from his post. But how will we do that? Maybe by, you know, seducing him with feminine wiles. Well then... Carol should be good for the job. What? What are you talking about? Why me? That sounds good to me. <laughs> so you're in on the joke too, Judith? No, I'm not really one for jokes. Huh? Okay, let's go. You gotta believe in yourself, Carol. When a lady struts her stuff, she does it with pizzazz. I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Hey, there's still time, you guys. How about someone else seduce the guard? When a man makes up his mind, he's got to see it through to the end. And this is a guild job as well. Don't forget, all for the guild. Oh, that is so twisting the guild's laws. Carol, you'll be fine. You'll be the cutest little thing that night has ever seen. Being the cutest anything has never been one of my life goals. Do you have a dress for a girl that will make her look extremely cute? Extremely cute? Like something for a date? Yeah, that's right. So? Let's see. Um, you're a boy, am I right? Well, I don't look like a girl, do I? Ah, uh, well, uh, wait. Why are you getting mad at me? Anyway, I don't carry any clothing for young girls. He says he doesn't have anything. Too bad. Ah, uh, hold on. Huh? If you brought me a soft tail, basilisk scale, and a small bird feather, I could make you something nice. You should be able to get all of the items from the monsters on the outskirts of the city. All right, let's go. Do we really have to do all this? It seems like so much trouble. Captain Carroll, you wouldn't have us abandon your plan, would you? No. I mean, of course not, but... Uh, if only Rita were here right now. Oh, you've brought the items. Wait here while I make you something nice. All is ready. Let's go. Hey, are you seriously going out in that outfit? Huh? Something wrong with this? Well, I could see everything. Uh, never mind that. It's very cute, and I have a feeling that this is gonna work.
Uh, excuse me. Get closer to him. But, but, this is so... Be brave, Carol. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Knight! Huh? You talking to me? Y yes! Could you come over here? I can't find my doggy! Uh, no, I can't leave my post unattended. B but... <laughs> I'm sorry, please don't cry like that. Oh, all right. I can make some time for your sake. Oh, I'm so happy. Now please come closer. And as I predicted, it came to blows in the end anyway. We couldn't really ask you to go all the way with it. W what are you talking about? Never mind. Change your clothes and go leave that costume at the shop. Uh, okay. All right, on to the next step. Huh? What? It should be easier to go in if you dress like a knight. Who? Me? Carol would work just as well. What? Again? Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to do it. But really, a knight of all things? Oh well, if this helps us fool them, all the better. Hey! Quit goofing off over there! Huh? What's the matter? You should get back to your post before things get even more out of hand. What do you mean, out of hand? The mage we captured is running wild! Hurry up! Roger. Okay, be right back. Huh? Yuri? You got a lot of nerve locking me up in a dump like this. Do you have any idea who you're dealing with? Get your superior out here now! Rita, what is she doing here? Calm down already! I'll I'll go call him right now! Shut up! Well, she hasn't changed much. Let me go! Settle down, it's just me. Yuri? Uh, are you okay? Rita? Have you calmed down? Yeah. So what are you doing in a place like this? I thought I'd check out the Blastia here before investigating the air crane. And you wound up biting off a little more than you could chew, just like always. But what was it you got involved in? They sneaked the Blastia into the labor camp at night. I mean, that's already pretty shady. Don't tell me you were sneaking around investigating it when you got caught. Of course not. I was very stealthy about it. And then you got caught. Well, I couldn't just sit around while they were trying to do something weird with the Blastia. The people here have been threatened by the Knights and are being made to work. I bet Teagle's in there too. We cannot allow this to go on. And what about this Blastia you saw? It was a Hope Loan Blastia. It looks like they're gathering them up for a war. They wouldn't! You don't think they're planning on attacking Dongrest again? But why? After they've just set up the friendship agreement. It's gotta be Qmor. There's no way he intends to keep any promises he made to the guilds. Do you know him, Yuri? You met him once, at Kerbakram. Oh, you mean the guy with the creepy voice? I don't mind discussing things here, but aren't we forgetting something? That's right! We've got to rescue Teagle and the others! 
Then we'll put an end to that forced labor, get rid of all the Blastia they're gathering, and... You can't just get rid of Blastia. They need to be recovered and taken care of. Then we'll have the mages and Ospio come pick them up. Wait, we're being careful, right? But... One thing at a time. R right. Okay, then let's get back to our original plan and head down. Okay. You know, in knight's armor, you really do look like a knight, Yuri. You're quite handsome. You're getting a compliment, you know. It wouldn't hurt to smile. I'm not really crazy about this getup. I've got bad memories of Flynn laughing his head off about how silly I looked in this. Well, I think I get how Flynn felt. <laughs> it's like somebody dressed you up. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all, Yuri. It's good because it's so different from who you are. Leave it to Yuri to be different, even in a normal suit of armor. This is why I hate this uniform. Hide! Ah, my lord. Are you sure you shouldn't be going to the Sands of Kogor now, sir? I don't have to pay attention to Alexei's orders. Using the money and weapons I have, everything will soon be within my reach. And I hope you remember to appreciate the work Leviathan's Claw has done for you. Yes, you will be taken care of, Jaeger. You'll take those weapons I sold you and attack the Union. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I'm afraid I have my sights set on loftier things than the Union. Ignoring the Dawn is a big no-no. He is a wonderful guy, yeah? Don't go forgetting that. My, my. It almost sounds as if you respect the man. Respect him, I do. But Leviathan's Claw always gets the job done. Oh, such dedication. That's just what I like about you. Don't worry, though. You're looking at the future Commandant of the Imperial Knights. That fool Alexei telling me to watch the Union while he signs friendship treaties with them. Yeah, you tell him. If it were me, I'd crush them in the blink of an eye with your lovely weapons. That guy with the weird hair looked over here and laughed. He definitely spotted us, all right. So he thinks we're funny, does he? Man, it's always the same thing with these idiots. So now we know there's a bunch of people being kept down there. Yeah. All right, let's go free them from the idiots. All right, if we find anyone being forced to work, let's tell them to run. <laughs> What's with you? First you're panicked, now you're laughing. You're pretty moody yourself, Rita. You're not really one to talk, Carol. Just shut up! <laughs> I'm so glad we found you here. I mean, I gave up going back to the capital, so even if you had visited me, I wouldn't have been there. Oh, how sweet, Rita. You were gonna go visit Estelle. Uh, I wouldn't go to the capital just to visit someone. I mean, I have to report my findings on the air credit. I just thought I'd say hi or something. I don't know. That sounds like an excuse for a visit with Estelle to me. You stay out of this! Oh, come on! We're all together again. Let's just be happy about that. <laughs> <laughs>